All right, are you guys ready for the word that I have for President Trump? And this is your word too. Okay, so my friends, this is my prophetic word for President Donald J. Trump that the Lord gave me and for the people of America, for all of you. The Lord said, Put your faith in me and enter my rest. According to 1 Kings 5, 4, this is what he brought to me. But now the Lord, my God, hath given me rest on every side so that there is neither adversary, no evil occurrent. 1 Kings 5, 4 is a word for President Trump. And for us, the people, the Lord says, I am giving President Donald J. Trump rest on every side so that there is neither adversary, no evil occurrent. God is dealing with every adversary of President Donald J. Trump. God is dealing with every adversary of President Donald J. Trump. So President Donald J. Trump shall have rest on every side. There is neither adversary, no evil occurrent. The Lord said to me, this is why I'm doing this right now. There may be a shaking. There may be some battles right now. But put your faith in me, says the Lord, and enter my rest and know that the victory is mine, says the Lord. And I am giving President Donald J. Trump rest on every side. I am destroying every single adversary of President Trump. I'm destroying every evil occurrence that would try to come against President Trump. So 1 Kings 5, 4 is President Donald J. Trump's word today. And it's a word for all of us that we are entering God's rest. So there is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. This is going to be a thorough sweep of the swamp. This is going to be a thorough sweep. This is why it's taking so long. This is why we've been in the battles. You see, we are in the book of Joshua. It will be biblical. God said to Joshua, kill them all. Do not leave one alive. Now you guys might think that's like, well, I thought God was all about love. I thought God was the God of love. I thought, but you got to understand that land was promised to the Israelites. That land was promised to God's people. And it was the demonic ones that came in and stole the land and was squatting on it. It wasn't given to them. It was given to God's people. And God told Joshua, go back up and possess the land that I gave to you. It belongs to you. And don't leave any of them alive. Don't leave any of them. Do a clean sweep. Why? Because if you leave any of them, if you leave any of them, their evil influence will still try to infiltrate. So what's happening right now? We are in the book of Joshua. Trump and his generals are Joshua and the Israelite army. We are the Israelite army. We are going back up and possessing our land in America that was given to us, the people. And we shall have rest on every side because when the people took the promised land after they won every single battle, it says, and then God gave Joshua and the people of Israel rest on every side. And it says it again in 1 Kings 5, 4, the Lord said to me, I am going to give President Donald J. Trump rest on every side. There will be not one of his adversaries left. There will be no evil that can come against him ever again or my people. So this is a prophetic word for President Donald J. Trump, for all of you, for the people of God. This is what God is doing. And he, there, there, are, there are details that are happening right now that we may not understand. But stop asking God about the how and just know he's going to do it and trust him and enter his rest and keep singing the glory song. Glory, glory, hallelujah. And keep advancing and keep advancing like Joshua. 
because the land belongs to God's people. And we shall have rest in the land. And the enemy's got to pay us back sevenfold. Because not only did Joshua take all the land and take the promised land, and the people of, of Israel repossessed the land that was theirs to begin with, but they got all the plunder from the enemy. They got all the sheep. They got all the gold. They got all the plunder from the enemy. And so shall we. We are in a book of Joshua time. And so, my friends, that is my word today for President Donald J. Trump, that the Lord God hath given him rest on every side, that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrent, that not only has the swamp been drained, but has been swept clean, and not just in this nation, but across the world. And this is why President Trump is being thorough. This is why uh, th this might take longer. And this is why, you know, like President Trump said in Georgia the other day, in the coming weeks, things you're go things are going to be released. There's going to be things that are shocking, right? Now we, it's like, uh, who's that boxer who did the rope a dope? What was his name? Cassius Clay. I'm going to call him Cassius Clay, right? Muhammad Ali. Cassius Clay. President Trump studied Muhammad Ali. He studied him. He was good friends with him. You see, the enemy thinks. Oh, you know, I got President Trump on the ropes. I got him on the ropes. You see, but President Trump has been holding out for that one big knockout punch. Boom! <laughs> Down, right? That's what's happening. The big knockout punch is coming. But, but tr President Trump's got, when he takes him out, he's going to take him out. Done. Knockout. KO'd. Out. Where they can't get back up. You see, it's like David and Goliath, right? Prophet Kim Clement said, God's plan is so brilliant. This is the words of God that were given to me again. God said, President Trump will take a simple stone and they will laugh at him. But the plan is so brilliant. It could have only been given by me, says the Lord, by God. President Trump is doing one big, massive knockout punch to these people. So they're, they're down, out, can't get back up. So 1 Kings 5-4 is President Trump's word and the word for all of us. Boom, down they go, right? The adversaries of President Trump, boom, down they go and they're not getting back up. Right? And we were told, God gave me a word after the election. It was right around November 5th. He said, big booms are coming. Knockout punches. Watch what happens, my friends. And no matter what you see happening in the natural, where you think that the enemy has got President Trump on the ropes. No, he does not. President Trump has the simple stone in his hand. The stone of David that takes out Goliath. I don't know when it's going to hit. I just know it's going to hit. So stop worrying about the how and put your faith in God. And we will enter God's rest on every side, neither adversary nor evil occurrence in Jesus' name. All right, my friends. I hope that blessed you today.